Not even dull skies and cool breezes can alter the fact that East is the time for looking on the bright side. So Easter parades like this in Battersea Park signify that spring's here, with summer and holidays and all the good things that go with sunshine only a few weeks away. That's the hopeful viewpoint. And as we say, East is the time for optimism. Still on the optimistic note, Easter time's grand for weddings. Ceremony, reception, then off for the honeymoon with British Railways at your service. The boat race. Cambridge putting their boat in the water. Chief optimists here were Oxford supporters, all convinced that nothing could stop the dark blues once they got started. It wasn't before the Oxford stake boat had dragged in a nerve-fraying delay. They had only to beat Cambridge to make it the third time running. A boat race hat trick. The light blues were dropping behind almost a length, in fact, as the crews neared Hammersmith. Watching in the umpire's launch was Mr. Armstrong Jones. A dramatic change in the race now. Cambridge in front and the Oxford number six, G.B. Cooper, on the verge of collapse. From this point, only his courage kept him going. Oxford hadn't a chance. The most dramatic boat race for several years ended in victory for Cambridge by four lengths and a quarter. Bravo, light blue. Some way downriver at Festival Pier, the London Fire Brigade's new fire boat, Fire Brace, gave a demonstration with two other boats, as if we weren't going to have rain enough. Motor racing fans at Goodwood didn't let the rain spoil their day. And there to see the International 100 was the Duke of Kent with his fiancée, Miss Catherine Wesley. Motorcycle champion John Surtees was one of Sterling Moss's rivals in this race of 42 laps, each of 2.4 miles. Is it possible that in John Surtees, Britain has found another driver of world champion class? Surtees had his Cooper Climax in the lead, dueling with Sterling Moss at this stage. Surtees won, second Graham Hill BRM. Man to watch in motor racing this year, John Surtees. By now, most of the South was having a drenching. South End was typical. There must have been millions who wished they were at home in front of a nice fire. Practically no more for the Skylark. They said it ended up just about the wettest Easter for 10 years. Market Harbour held tug-of-war matches across the stream. The best position is anchor man, though even anchors have to be christened sometimes. The Ski Club of Scotland held its Easter meeting at Glencoe. There was a good attendance and 64 competitors, some from Norway, took part in the slalom races. The course has a drop of 450 feet with 35 gates to be negotiated. Women competitors put up a good show. It was grand fun. But Easter has its serious side. Witness the Ban the Bomb marches. Upon Trafalgar Square converged the marches from Aldermaston and Wethersfield. At the finish, they totaled well over 30,000. Prominent among speakers in the square was Canon Collins. It was said that the anti-nuclear arms protest was the biggest political movement to spring up since the end of the war. At 88, Bertrand Russell campaigns as fervently as ever. At Easter, something for everybody. <laughs> 